96.3 Ron Sand with Teen Center. Lots of activities and doing homework. They have a study club here that helps students out for after school homework. It just started coming a habit, just coming because it's a great place to come to. Well, I come to hang out with my friends. A lot of kids can relate to each other here. Like, they can easily make friends out of all this stuff. Like, when I first came here, I only knew one person. And then after being here for almost a year, I met a whole bunch of people that are pretty cool. Usually we play rummy, or we go on the computers, or we go into the weight room and lift weights or dance. I mean, it's just a perfect spot for kids to come. It's like a safe environment. I feel safe when I come here. Just the, the great people here. It's great attitudes. It's like almost like being at home, except with other people. People here cheer you up, so it's a good place to come to. Good, positive place. If you're bored at home, come here and just have fun. EX3 Teen Center is a good place, and come here and meet all of the great people that go here. EX3 Teen Center was built for kids that are in middle school and high school because Boys and Girls Clubs of America felt we were doing a great job with elementary age kids, but once they graduated and were in middle school and high school, more and more kids were having difficulty staying in school. There are just a lot of kids in the community that need a safe place to be. Um, they don't have parents in the homes. Um, there's an increasing need for people to provide a safe place, for people to provide food, for people to provide homework help. So those are some of the biggest needs, and just meeting that need is the biggest challenge. It's a place that they can come right after school. So rather than being out there, where there's trouble waiting. Uh, it's a place they can come to, they're comfortable, they meet other kids. This is something that gives young people who may not always be engaged in every activity in their local school, but who still need a place to go, something to be part of. We try to be a center for everyone, uh, for every different kind of kid out there. They have different interests, so um, of course we have sports, which is what Boys and Girls Club is known for. We have basketball leagues, we have rock climbing, soccer, volleyball. Right now we have about 100 young people dropping in almost every day, and our staff is here to provide whatever counseling, assistance, or recreational help that they might need. Besides sports, we're really proud that we offer academic help every day after school, so free tutoring. But besides that, we just try to give them life skills. You know, we have cooking classes where we learn how to make nutritious, healthy food. And the kids here get along. And I think that also is a reflection on the staff because the staff demands that respect and the staff gives the respect to the kids. We have a music studio. Learning how to record and write their own music. So it's been a great combination and it gets more kids coming because it's more than just sports. We have video games for kids that are gamers. We really just try to appeal to every sort of different type of kid. And when you come in here and you look around and you see them studying or playing or talking to their friends, it makes you feel good there's a place for them to go and they're not doing something else that wouldn't be quite as productive.